Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandy. I'm the creative behind Sandy Solutions and I'm here to help you create digital content for your online business and brand. Hi everyone, for today's video, I'll be walking you through on how you can create an audiogram like this. So why do we need an audiogram? An audiogram is a preview or a visual experience of your podcast episode. It consists of branded graphics, sound bites, and cute waveforms that will help you give your audience their first real experience with your podcast by putting them into your social media. It will make them stick around long enough to read your podcast description and let alone listen to it. All right, so let's get this started. So there are two parts when you create an audiogram. So the first part is creating the base graphic that you will use. This is where you can apply your um, visual brand colors, fonts, um, your images, etc. Now the second part will be the part where you'll be adding the, the audio clips and your sound waves. Now for the graphics i mainly do all my graphics here in canva so for this exercise we'll be using this graphic that i made you can also um, create something like this if you have like a guest on your podcast and you want to feature them so go ahead and use their photo and create something like this just like your episode number um your guest uh, your guest name, your name, and then the title of your podcast episode and a short description or details about that episode. And if it's going to be, if you're airing it live or or if you are launching it on a specific date, then go ahead and include a date. So for this exercise, I'll be using this one. It's very simple. So as you can see, I have a photo here. This is supposedly like the podcast cover art. However, since I don't have a podcast, I just choose something. Um, so I just use a photo that is visually aligned with my branding. And then this is the title of my pretend podcast and the, ep the podcast episode. So I just put in the graphic, the very important details, and then I have here my name and my photo, and I have here this space right here. The reason why I have that space is because later on, that is where I'll be putting the sound waves when I create the audiogram. So the sound waves in audiogram matches or sync is in sync with your audio files. So on this um, graphic, I also have a space right here where I can put in the sound wave later on. But for this exercise, let's go ahead and use this um, sample here. So I'm just going to go ahead and download it and save it as a PNG file. Let me just save it. All right. So now we're going, since you have now your graphic, your base graphic, let's go ahead and proceed to the step two or the second part. So what you'll do is you'll go to a new platform for this exercise i'll be using um, a tool that is called wave so it's w-a-v-v-e -E. so this is where you can create the actual audiogram so when you get into the home page after you log in or create your account this is the home page so you have here an option that says create a new video just click on that and then it will ask you to upload your audio so usually for my client work uh, my clients just usually send me the audio file the mp4 file of their podcast of their actual um, podcast episode and then i upload it here but for this exercise i recorded something so let's just um, go ahead and upload it here let me just i'm actually just using the free one it says i don't have remaining time let me just log in to make sure that this is my account okay here we go okay so i have my audio saved somewhere here and so then i'm just gonna go to upload it and click confirm audio now what you're gonna do is you'll actually need to click on new design because we're putting in a new graphic and then there's options here like start with a template if you already have a template or choose a template that wave already has then create from scratch and um, they have something that's coming soon but let's just go ahead and focus with this one so click start from scratch 
and then it will ask you um, the size of your audiogram so they have the horizontal this is usually for like um, like a YouTube size um, video and then they have the square one which is the usual one for social uh, media posting and then the vertical for reels or Instagram stories and other sizes but for this exercise since i made the sample graphic or the base graphic in a square um dimension so let's go ahead and choose square once it's uh once you're there go ahead and click on image to upload the image that we just created earlier and here it goes now this is uh, now the part that where you where you can add your waveforms or the sound waves so they have various waveforms here and you can just choose anything that you think will look nice with your um uh with your graphic so i think i'm gonna use this one and then you can change the color into your brand color all right there you go then you can adjust the height you can actually customize the waveforms and then you also have other options like you can add a progress bar you can also add captions or you can add text the progress bar looks like this like this one but for this exercise i don't think i'm gonna need to use um, a progress bar so i'll just stick with the waveforms now once you're done just go ahead and save and then I'll just name it how to make an audiogram sample. And then once you're done, it will take you to another um, option here. So this is the one that we just made to so select it. And then confirm design. And then this is where they will sync the audio with your waveforms. Okay. So usually for social media posting, um, especially on Instagram, the maximum that you can post a video is up to 60 seconds. Usually when my clients send a video, uh, an MP4 file of their podcast episode, it's usually like uh, 60 minutes. So I just choose anywhere of the audio, usually at the center or at the middle part, because that's where all of the conversation is really nice. So I just cut the mp4 file and choose something from there by doing this so the highlighted one is like the chosen part but for this exercise since um this is just 26 seconds so i'm gonna select all and then generate video and then it will now sync your audio and your sound waves so let's just give it some time to generate the video and then once it's done you can now go ahead and play it or download it and once you download it you can go ahead and start posting it on your social so let's just give it some time maybe my internet connection right now is really slow because this usually just takes like a few seconds all right so this is now done and you can see here the more and then you have download you can also view let's just go ahead and view this one first and this is how it will look like so why do we need an audiogram an audiogram is a preview or a visual experience. all right so once you viewed it and it, it it it's it's all perfect and good to go then just go ahead and click and download and start posting on your social or anywhere that you wanted to share this content all right um i hope you find this video helpful let me know if you have other questions by the way please check me out on facebook as facebook.com slash sandy solutions because that's where you can find me the most it's where i post most of my canva um tips and tricks and canva updates all right so um don't forget to click like and subscribe. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.